Welcome to the wonderful world of travel. I'm John Haggins. I'm here at the Wildcatter, and behind me are these rolling hills. It's so extraordinary. It's a paradise. The sun is about to set, and the pool is so refreshing behind me. Stay tuned. Within the next half hour, and you'll see these wonderful miracles of Texas. It's big in Texas. Rough and ready cowboys and girls, it's a tradition of the Old West. So on display here at the Museum of the American Railroad is the Big Boy Steam Locomotive. It's the largest locomotive ever constructed and it was built for the Union Pacific Railroad. It weighs 1,200,000 pounds and is 133 feet long. It was built for Union Pacific for operation between Cheyenne, Wyoming and Ogden, Utah. And 25 were constructed and eight of them survive in museums today. And it is a massive locomotive. It burns about 25 tons of coal and about 60,000 gallons of water. And it can pull? It can pull up to 80 freight cars by itself. They used to run two big boys together and pull a train over a mile in length. And then at the far end of the museum, you'll notice a restored building. That is an interlocking control tower. And that's a building that would be situated at the intersection of two major rail lines and control the movement of trains through that intersection. My name is James Hubbard, Jr. I'm the building manager here at the Hall of State in Fair Park. This building here is called the State of Texas Building, or affectionately among the people that come to it, the Hall of State. It goes by both names. Uh, the building was constructed in 1935 at a cost of $1.2 million. Uh, it was constructed by the Texas legislator to uh, depict uh, Texas in a gigantic manner for the uh, 1936 exposition, Centennial Exposition that was uh, here at Fair Park. We're located right now on the Pat Patico, and uh, I guess you have already seen the uh, Tea House Warrior. The warrior is supposed to be a symbol of freedom, the archless warrior. That's why it doesn't have a, uh, a spear or anything. Uh, the park is a national historic landmark. The park consists of 277 beautifully landscaped acres. We have eight uh, museums. The State Building was built in 1935 for the World's Fair, and it has an incredibly beautiful interior. These murals depict the history of Texas, especially starting with the oil wells and the cotton industry. Could ever change the way I feel. I'm here at Fair Park in Dallas, Texas, and the building behind us is the Women's Museum. Now, first of all, it's, the building has a unique history, and you see this lady statue here. Uh, she's called the Spirit of the Centennial, and it's a lady that's, that's, that's rising out of the cactus, kind of like this building. Uh, it was built in the 1800s for the State Fair as an exhibition building. Then in the 1900s, it was the Coliseum, which is interesting in that during the day, they used to sell cattle in the building, and at night they would have um, musicals and symphony performances. The ladies would all come in, the men in their suits and their best dress at night. In the evenings, you see the guys bidding on the cattle with the cigars in their mouths. Then in 1936, when we had the centennial celebration, the building was redone. It had the front put on it and really was jazzed up. Uh, in keeping with the Art Deco uh, theme of the Centennial Celebration. And so it became the Hall of Administration, uh, the business hub, as you might say, for the Centennial Celebration. Well, the building was used through the years for the State Fair. It became an old, dilapidated building. It was rented out to store a company's goods in there and supplies, and then it just became in a greater uh, state of disrepair. And finally, uh, these ladies again, in keeping with the theme of rising out of the cactus, rising up from something, uh, a set of a group of lady architects decided that it would be great to have a women's museum in Dallas. 
And so they got together and raised uh, millions of dollars to renovate this building, which by this time had holes in the roof large enough for, ca for cars to go through. And we were always afraid that one day a big gust of wind was going to come by and just blow the building down. So what came out of this building that had the huge holes in the roof, the mud and all the past history inside is now a beautiful museum that honors the contributions that women have made to this country and to the world. This is the pool on top of the W Hotel in Dallas, Texas. And this is a bedroom where you can rest your weary head. This is so much fun watching these people do the two-step. It's a favorite dance of Texas. Well, uh, this song, very famous Italian song, uh, Mr. Pavarotti himself is well known for it. It is also Le Mio. Um, I am unfortunately no Pavarotti, but uh, I do have the gondola and he doesn't, so that makes up for it. Che bella cosa, na giornata sole, naria serena. Gondola on the canal is a real treat for a visitor or even a Texan. I had so much fun. There is a very famous bridge in Venice known as the Bridge of Sighs. And legend goes that if you kiss your lover underneath the Bridge of Sighs, your love will last for all eternity. Now, we don't have any famous bridges here in Los Angeles. That's okay. What we don't have in uh, quality, you might say we make up for in quantity. So uh, we encourage our guests to... Uh, to kiss under the many different bridges, uh, seven total through the canal, and uh, to honor this great Venetian tradition of love. Even if you're not a couple. I'm sorry? Even if you're not a couple. It's at, it's at your discretion. So let's go at it. Come on! Sumar <laughs> 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 Nostro d'argento, la ciana la lonta, prospero il viento, sul mare lo cicca, la stro d'argento, la ciana la lonta, prospero il viento. Vieni te la gile, barche a tanni, santa. 